Hello, my name is Daniel Lewis, and for the STEM Expo, I created a cardboard marble run. The homemade cardboard marble run would be a good project for the STEM Expo because it is primarily made out of recyclable materials and will teach kids about physics. The cardboard marble run demonstrates momentum, velocity, acceleration, friction, gravity, and potential and kinetic energy. A marble run is a track designed for a marble to go down. It can be made out of a variety of materials, such as paper, plastic, wood, cardboard, and any objects lying around. They can even be bought from a store. I chose to use cardboard for this project because it is easy to get, easy to use, and cheap. Sometimes, marble runs are created with specific goals in mind, such as creating a marble run that runs for as long as possible or a marble run that goes the furthest distance. My marble run had no specific goal in mind other than being entertaining to watch. My dad, my grandpa, and my sister all helped me make the marble run. The first step of making the marble run was creating a plan. I made a rudimentary sketch of what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure how easy or hard the marble run would be to make, so I was cautious not to add too much complexity. The next step was to gather materials. For the project, we used cardboard boxes, marbles, poster paper, a few cardboard tubes, yarn, painter's tape, colored paper, a compass, a pool noodle, hot glue guns, pens, pencils, tongue depressors, wooden dowels, nails, knives, a hacksaw, scissors, a drill, and a table. We began experimenting with various methods of track for the marbles. The best track we discovered was cutting cardboard into strips of two inches, then partly cutting one half an inch off the edges. This left one inch of track in the middle with half inch walls that could be folded up. We created about 10 of these until we could finalize the track. We then made some prototype funnels. Cardboard didn't work because it didn't bend well. We made one prototype funnel out of paper and the other out of poster paper. We found that the poster paper funnel supported the weight of the marbles the best. Yay. We tried creating a switch track. This consisted of two straight tracks connected at a right angle to make a T and a switch. The switch went through several designs made of cardboard that didn't work. We eventually got it to work by gluing three cut tongue depressors to a hollowed out wooden dowel. Once we got enough pieces, it was time to finalize the track design. We started by placing large pieces of cardboard to make the walls and a box in the middle. I taped yarn to the walls to visualize the different paths. I used three different colors to show the three different paths. After a total of 26 hours, the marble run was finished. It stands 33 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and 53 inches long.